Hello everyone, and especially you YouTubers that are working on your minis up in the snow, uh, down here on the Isle of Wight. It's tropical, it's lovely. So crack on. I do like watching YouTube, and one of my favourites is Trev's blog. He's restoring a Bedford CA van. The engineering and lateral thinking involved in this build, added to this random comedy sketches and film quotes, make this a must watch in my book. Uh, Bedford Vans, what's that got to do with me? Why am I watching his channel? Well, let me tell you a story. Back in the day when I was a nipper in the 70s, uh, my dad used to be into the construction industry. Uh, and, and say back then, you used to be able to take your kids to work uh, so that was a building site. So yes, when I was a sort of, you know, I don't know, 10 years old or whatever, I would, I would be on a building site messing around. So I spent a lot of my summer holidays in a Bedford CF van. There you go, one of those with sliding doors. Awesome, lots of good memories with it. In fact, I learned to drive in one of those vans round and round a building site. Yeah, as soon as my legs could touch the floor, well actually you know, before that I'd sit on the lap, do the steering, but when my feet could touch the floor, yes, I was driving all on my own in a Bedford bag. Um, so yeah, so I can't fancy another one. My my um, my transport is getting a little bit old, and I just think it'd be an awesome project to have a a retro modded Bedford CF van to tow my race cars to events. I think it'd be awesome. Uh, anyway, watch his channel. His uh, his. The modifications that he's doing and the engineering is just fantastic. You know, it's on par with Bad Obsession and Binky, but on a completely different sort of level. Um, so the plan for this episode is to cut the boot floor out of Bernie and replace it with a brand new panel. The problem with having Bernie on a spit for this job is when he is upside down, it's too high for me to work on. So I asked a scientist to see if he could come up with a solution. We took four cardboard tubes, the kind of tube you'd find in a regular brand of household toilet tissue, and then we proceeded to place them on the floor, making four columns equal distantly thus. We wanted to test if these cardboard tubes would support the average body weight of a human man. No. Instead I built this. It works brilliant and takes the load off the rear arches and you will see why that's a good idea later. And I'm sure you've guessed this is what I was building in episode 13. <laughs>
aren't angle grinders brilliant i mean like you can get all sorts of attachments for grinders like cutting discs that will only cut like one millimeter a millimeter i mean a millimeter is like like that much i mean what did they use to restore cars before angle grinders were invented the problem is angle grinders can be really dangerous i mean you only have to ask josh smith aren't safety goggles brilliant they're like bulletproof glass for your eyeballs brilliant <laughs> Okay, sit rep, where are we? Well, the floor is out and I've cleaned up all the spot welds. What spot welds did I have to remove? Well, the first ones that I removed uh, were these ones that went against the back seat. Oh, I need to grind them down a little bit more. I can feel them on my finger. Uh, but yeah, they were the first set to come out. Uh, and then I just cut the floor out and then did these side bits separately. So found all the little spot welds, drilled those out. Uh, this, because it's three layers, where it's the, the rear balance, the boot floor, and obviously this panel, uh, there's so many spot welds and it's so complicated, I didn't bother looking for spot welds. I literally attacked it with an angle grinder and feathered it all off until I got down to the last bit of metal. The hardest bit uh, were these little brackets that sit here, you know the ones that reinforce onto the rear arch? and then they come out and mount to the floor. I kind of hacked those out because it was almost impossible for me to try and drill out the spot welds. Uh, that one's off. This arch has got so many little patches in it uh, and rust holes and things like that. I'm actually contemplating replacing the, the arch. Not this bit, not the turret, the actual arch. Uh, but we'll have to see about that. That one, I think I might get away with a repair. So, it's not quite ready to have the new floor welded in, but I'm desperate to have a try and fit it. So let's give it a go. as if it's going to be that simple. Fettling time. The reason I could not get the floor to fit was the rear seat pan pressing was interfering with the rear subframe panel. I'm sure it should fit but I decided to alter the rear pressing just a little. I made this buck to help me get the right shape. And now it 
fits like a glove. Okay, the boot floor is in. It fits. With a bit of, bit of fettling, it's done. Uh, I could start drilling out plug welds and spot weld this on, uh, but before I do that, I'm a bit concerned about this wheel tub, let's call it that. Obviously it needs a repair here, obviously it needs a repair here, um, but there's some funky stuff going on down here. Turn the little redirect. If we turn the lights off, you can see it's full of little pepper pots. As you can see, that there's these little holes. And to be honest, that's not worth patching because it'll be a nightmare. And I will fix some, but then some will appear at another date. I started delving in there, uh, there was way too much corrosion going on. Uh, the bad news is, uh, I don't have the panel to replace it, so uh, we're sort of halfway between Christmas and New Year, so I've got two options. Uh, first option is I can wait till the January sales, order it, get it in. The other option is I can wait till Bingley Hall at the end of January, which I'm going to go to anyway and buy it there. Um, but I'm kind of keen to crack on and get it done. So anyway, in the meantime, go and check out Trev's blog with his Bedford CA van. Um, I'm waiting for his final episode so we can see what it's all about, what it's going to look like. Um, so hopefully in episode 15, the boot floor will be in. Ta-ta for now.